Wait, wait, no, 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 get, no, nah, get this out of here. Wait, wait, no, 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 I don't want any of this low tier biz. Wait, what are you, what are you bringing to me, hey? All right, mate. Now we're talking supermarkets. Supermarket headphones are weird because for some people they, they just exist to test equipment with. But mate, when I was a kid, I survived out of headphones like this, mainly because I'd put them through the wash. And the last time I bought supermarket headphones was basically back when I was a kid. I don't know, maybe they've become decent since then. I'm not, I'm not confident. Well, these are the Exceed in-ear earphones with coal control? <laughs> Call control well, and case nothing not nothing I'm not against packaging that undersells a bit because I mean this is budget and budget is right mate These were four bucks four kangaroos these <laughs> In-ear earphones features inline control for answering hanging up coals playing port come on exceeds can you exceed my expectations? I hate how much plastic, gross, cheap stuff has. All right, we've got this silicon exceed egg. That's nice. Um, feels like it's almost covered in powder or something. Yuck. Oh, so clever. The tips are basically all the same size. <laughs> they, they just give you spares of them for some reason. That looks like a microphone. So like this one time, mate, I decided like to take mum's Corolla out for another spin, hey? But like I was banned from the Corolla from the, like the last time, mate, that like we kind of bagged her up on the main road and like blew out the CV joints and like we couldn't get all the shopping home. But like me and Trevor like, nah, it won't happen again, mate. I'll just feather the clutch, hey? But like we didn't feather the clutch, we just dumped it. And then, like, we're literally 400 kilometers away from home, mate, and we've blown the CV joints. Can we borrow five bucks, mate? Oh, forget cold control. Dude, it's fine. <laughs> but what about the earbuds? Um, they are huge. <laughs> Like, they're really bassy, and I'm pretty sure there's extra, you know, it's like the V sound where there's extra bass, extra top end, that sort of thing. Um, I, I would happily live with them. If this is my idea of a desert island, I would happily, like, for four bucks, with that microphone, and this chunky cable, and this greasy egg, I mean, like, look, it fits a duck. Are they hi-fi? Absolutely not. Will they make your kids shut up on a big car ride? Absolutely. It's not balanced sound. It's obviously like very sugar coated. Four bucks roughing it from the supermarket. It's actually amazing how decent modern junk phones are. All right, time to really step it up. These next ones were nine bucks. That's more than double the price. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mocky Life Metallics. I don't know why Metallic would be a selling point. And they gotta look good instead of sound good, right? Um, yeah. Nine bucks. They don't say much. Oh, it's got stickers everywhere. Why? <laughs> well, there's more paper in here. That's good. Oh, look, even a little paper pouch for your bud boys. Mocky, nice. And you actually get different sizes. Oh, wow, the choices we have. Well, more than double the price and there's no mocha phone, mate. What the heck? Yeah, and this is just, you know, <laughs> chromed plastic. It's, it's not exactly my favorite thing ever. Like cheap motorbikes are covered with this and you just watch it fall apart in three years. Well, let's have a smell. I actually prefer the Exceeds. I I'm being serious. I actually prefer the Exceeds. <laughs> None of them are hi-fi at all. But my ears hated this far less, and it has a mic, and it's less than half the price. And sorry, Mocky Pods, I mean like, I, you know, I don't like wasting stuff, but it, it's kind of your only fate here, mate, like, cause you know, you're not as good as the Exceeds, uh, you know, and I'm not even gonna use the Exceeds. Oh! Wow, they got noisy, <laughs> really rattly, um, and they survived a whole round of Scarlet Fire, mate, and like, good goodbye, Mucky Pods. All right, no one freak out, but I, I've really jumped up in price this time. I mean, just, whew, man, like, when, when I was, was paying at the counter, I had to take a deep breath before investing like this. These were $15. For genuine Sonys. I bet most people didn't think that Sony liked to dip down nice and low, but dip they do. Crystal clear sound. And you can see they're dingus buds, not with the, the in-ear tips, which means I'm probably not gonna like them because they're not gonna fit. Nothing, no, I mean like the, the packaging's really nice. I love this color of blue. It's why I 
pick them. Why do you need a box inside of the other box, Sony? Why do I need a full instruction manual? <laughs> oh, nice instructions. Put the dingus on the guy. Put them in your head. Not a waste of paper at all. Do we need a piece of tape on this? Like, Sony! Look at this winningest technique here, mate. It's wrapped over itself and coiled and spiraled. <laughs> Cable is gross. Like, really gross. The buds are tiny. <laughs> Look at our little man here. Look at this. <laughs> they do look neat, but it's how they sound. With the fluff guys on, they actually stay in the head pretty good. Like, yeah, it gives them a little bit of extra grip and they're just, yeah, they're tiny. Um, they are incredibly thin sounding, like really thin sounding. Like these budget KBs smash these. <laughs> and the fact that you could buy like three pairs of these, no mic, Thinnest sound of the lot. Who cares how pretty and like translucent they look? My, I'm telling you, I'd rather the exceeds. I really would. <laughs> well, sorry, Sony, you're kind of the worst of the lot so far. <laughs> I mean, like the people demand blood. Whew, all right, they're the smelliest. Sorry, Sony, mate. I just wasn't a fan, and I'd never give yous to anyone's. And, and like honestly, because I'd, I'd rather give people these. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, mate. So the last pair. <sighs> I I don't think I'm gonna be able to financially recover, but but it's okay. All glory for the content, mate. The things I'm doing for you, I do this for you. These were. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting upset just thinking about. That, they were forty three dollars. Oh man. So they need to rock my world. The Sonic B Heroics! <laughs> yeah mate, the full gaming headset. All in one, everything I need. It's got a mic, I can't wait. Enhanced treble and bass. Mate, you can have your cake and eat it too. And pro light illumination because we all know you cannot be professional on the internet unless you've just got lights that only you can see. And uh, this is just another way of saying it's compatible with everything with a headphone jack, which means not modern smartphones. Ew! Sweat proof, mate. Yeah, She's grease resistant. Hey, you can't write mobiles here. Hey, this won't work with mobile phones. Yeah, so standard jack for literally everything of importance and uh, it's only got USB for the stinking lights. Yeah, it is not a USB set of headphones. All right, there's our Windows XP style splitter. Here's our heroic manual of which there is nothing really wrong with. Uh, PS4 and Xbox. Um, I'm fine with that. Oh yeah. Um, it's just a big slab of plastic. Um, so, <laughs> uh, something wrong with these right out of the gates is that like our ears don't stick out that way. They point forwards, yeah? And so ear cups should swivel, you know, so they actually fit humans. This is literally a big slab of plastic that doesn't, so... <laughs> and, and the plastics are horrifying. Ooh, but the cable's like a shoelace. That makes up for it. Ah, uh, let me see the power. Three, two, one, pro gamer. Oh. Oh, and look, it bleeds out of every corner. It's just blue light coming out of everywhere. <laughs> but let me have a quick go with the microphone. So like, we've blown up mum's Corolla, we're like 400 k's away from home, hey? And like, mum's the only one who can come and pick us up so like we don't die, because we're just literally laying out in the desert, mate. We didn't bring any supplies, we didn't think this through, hey? But like, we don't want to let mum know that we've blown up the Corolla. So like, we, we just said we were kidnapped and we were dumped in the desert and we we're gonna die. And like, we, we were rescued so quick, hey? Like helicopters, police, news crews, everything, hey? And, and then we just kind of told them that we, we got lost looking for Tim Tams. And, and then we spent three nights in a jail cell. Fully sick holiday, mate. It somehow manages to be worse than the exceeds, I swear. <laughs> Oh, uh, and they fit terrible, and this is nasty. Real nasty. All right, let's have a listen. But, mate, you gotta listen too. That means it's the Herdo 600s by old mate Senny Sen. Let's have a comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what kids want, hey? It's what they want. 
Um, yeah, Hi-Fi, they don't be. They fit awful. I mean, as soon as I saw they had no swivel, I knew it wasn't going to be great, yeah, apart from the miserable feeling plastics. I won't blow them up because honestly, like, I could just donate these somewhere and there is some kid somewhere who could actually enjoy these. I mean, yeah, they're not as kind of rubbish as the Sonys and the and the Mockies, so, you know, I'm not gonna blow them up. Well, I wasn't expecting the, the only ones I'd even remotely tolerate to be the very cheapest first ones. <laughs> <laughs> they exceeded my expectations. <laughs> I'm not telling everyone to run out and go grab these or something, but it, it is fun to see that, like, you know, supermarket buds have really caught up. It really is a golden age for audio, mate, where even cheap, dirty supermarket stuff just might be okay. And well, that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because one dollar a month, I do extra videos, it's all thanks to you that I'm doing stuff the way that I wanna, you know, I don't have to do sponsor spots, I could take all the mid-rolls out of my stuff, you know, so thank you so much, but mate, if you're pitching, you get some extras. Speaking of supermarkets, mate, I'm gonna take you to one. We're gonna visit an Aussie supermarket. It be that simple. So thanks so much, and mate, I'll see you all next time. Who's gone for an interview with Frank? He, he gone, Frank. Frank's awake. She's just choosing to ignore us right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.